today I'm making a pudding that I found the recipe for in this BBC Good Food 101 Slow Cooker Favourites book. So I picked this up at the Jumble sale and it's got loads of great recipes in it. So it cost me 50p for the book. Now it's all slow cooker meals obviously and I saw this one in there. Now my lads aren't big fans of puddings with custard and that kind of thing. Um, I know how disappointing <laughs> and dreams of making them puddings all the time when they were little but they're not very keen. So I'm going to make this one because it's kind of like a cake and it has golden syrup in it which they like I know. Um, I'll put a link to this book down below for anybody that's interested in seeing if they can pick it up. And I'll, I've got all the ingredients that we need. So I'm going to make this up and bung it in the slow cooker. It'll take about four hours once it's made up. So, um, I've mixed my sponge mix there, my batter, and in the bottom of this bowl, so this is a pudding bowl, it's an old one, ceramic one, um, there's, I put a little disc of um, grease proof paper and then there's a layer that's made up of a tablespoon of breadcrumbs which I just made from a stale brioche bread roll that we had, mixed with three tablespoons of golden syrup. And I was thinking if you don't have golden syrup, you could use ma maple syrup, I would have thought, or honey. You could use lemon curd or marmalade, <coughs> excuse me, or marmalade or jam. Anything that you like the sound of. And then I'm going to put the sponge over the top of this. Now I've measured this bowl to make sure that it's the right capacity for the recipe. And it appears to be, but it looks really snug to me. <laughs> so I'm expecting this to rise a bit over the top, but we'll see. Actually, it might be okay. I think we're going to be okay, actually. It will rise a bit, obviously. But um, I was a bit worried it was going to burst over the top. Right, I'm just going to get a knife to... Grip that off. So I've really well greased this um, pudding basin with a dollop of butter. This was one of my favourite puddings as a kid. So I'm really hoping that my two... I know that for sure that they won't want custard with it. <laughs> um, but they might want a little bit of pouring cream and actually they might just like it just as it is which is fair enough but if they don't like this I'll be really surprised because <laughs> it's basically cake, golden syrup cake steam as a steamed pudding so anyway we'll find out later I suppose so now this needs to be wrapped in a layer of um, grease proof paper and a layer of foil with a pleat in the top to allow expansion and then I'll put an elastic band I think around here and it will go in the slow cooker. I'll show you what it looks like when I've got it all wrapped up. Bearing in mind I haven't done this for years, I haven't steamed a pudding for years so um, I might make a pig's ear of it. <laughs> So I've got on here a layer of, oh, can't say, sorry, a layer of grease proof paper and a layer of tin foil. And they're both folded into a pleat on the top so that as it rises, it can, the top can expand. And what I do is I put an elastic band round to hold it in place while I tie some string round. Now normally, I'd use the string to make a handle so that I can lift it out but because I'm going to put this in my instant pot sitting on the trivet 
the trivet has handles so I don't need to do that hooray that's really good because I couldn't remember how to make the handles <laughs> I could have looked it up but I don't need to because I can use the trivet handles so I'm now going to put this in the slow cooker and then top it up to about halfway up the bowl halfway up the basin with hot water and I'm going to cook it on high for four hours which um, it's like it's quarter to two now so that will be perfect so it should be ready by quarter to six maybe six o'clock um, which will be perfect for the lads to have after tea right so the, the instant pot has been on slow cooker function for four hours now so the pudding should be cooked so what I'm going to do is take it out poke a knife into it and see if it comes out clean it's definitely risen you see how domed the top is that's exciting Ooh. So it was really easy taking that out on the trivet, that's good. So let's cut the string. Just take it, remove the trivet, it's wobbling on there a bit. Pop it on the chopping board and I'll see what we've got oh it's definitely risen and it looks really nicely cooked it's just stuck a little bit yeah the knife's nice and clean I don't know if anybody there you go you can see that so I will tip this out and serve it up. And see if my kids want some cream with it or just to have it as it is. This smells so good. I don't know if can you see the steam coming off it. Look at that syrup that's just oozed into the pudding as it's cooked. Oh my goodness, it looks great. Right, I can't show you, but I have teenagers at the door, so <laughs> I'll, I'll stop here and I'll show you a portion served up. So there we go, that's what it looks like inside. And here's Sam's portion with some double cream just poured over the top. There you go. Okay, you can take it, Sam. <laughs> so I'll finish serving this up for the other teen and um, leave it there.
It smells amazing. I can't eat this or I won't be eating it. I could, but I won't be eating this because I eat low carb. Um, but it's been real fun to make an old schoolyard favourite pudding. And it was super easy and it's cooked perfectly in the Instant Pot. So I'm really pleased with that. Thanks very much for watching and I'll be back with you again really soon. Bye for now.